The number one way to help your pet feel safe during your move to a new home. Are you moving soon and wondering how your pets are going to handle it? This is a huge concern for most people who are purchasing a new house soon or are planning to move in the near future. Moving is a major life event that although is an exciting adventure, also brings lots of stress along with it. This is especially true for our furry family members who don't understand what's actually going on. And it's especially concerning when your pet already gets frightened and emotionally exhausted just driving in the car or during visits to the veterinarian. But there are ways to keep your pets safe, calm, and comfortable during all the stages of a big move. We created this series to share with you what the experts say are the steps you can take. This first video might surprise you though. We're actually not going to concentrate on your pets in this one. But this first step is a biggie and it's probably the most overlooked one of all the tips you'll hear about. The most important thing you can do for your pets, and for your kids as well, is to take care of yourself during this stressful time in your life. Because the truth is, pets and kids are like sponges to everything you're feeling right now. So if you're constantly in a state of worry, stress, and anxiety, before, during, and after the move, guess how your pets will be? You guessed it, worried and anxious themselves. It's almost impossible for young kids and pets to feel otherwise. They take their cues from us. But is it even possible to not be stressed out during this major life event? With so much going on, so much upheaval? Yes, it definitely is. But it means you have to not only work on clearing out all the old stuff in your house while you're in the process of moving, you might also need to start clearing out all the negative stuff going on in your mind as well because your thoughts and your beliefs above everything else are the main cause of your stress. How are your thoughts and beliefs running right now? Do you have confidence in yourself that you can handle everything involved with this move, for instance? Or are you telling yourself this is way too hard for you? Are you looking at it from a glass is half full perspective and seeing it as a positive new start for you and your family? Or is your attitude more critical and pessimistic? The best thing you can do is to start becoming aware of the negative thoughts that are running under the surface. When you start getting anxious with everything you need to do, for instance, stop and ask yourself what you're thinking deep inside about it. This is the powerful practice of awareness. Are you constantly telling yourself, without even fully being aware, that you can't handle this, for instance? That you're going to somehow fall apart? That awful things are going to happen? Besides starting to become aware of your thoughts, and what you're telling yourself on the inside. Also pay attention to your conversations right now. What are they like when you talk to family, friends, and coworkers about the move? Is it a negative complaint fest often? Or are you talking more about all the positive aspects of the move? This is all indications of your thoughts and beliefs inside. And remember, your kids and your pets are most likely hearing you at times during these conversations. Besides this, they pick up on all the subtle clues of how you're feeling no matter if you're actually talking about it or not. So start uncovering your negative thoughts and beliefs that are running underneath. Then you can start replacing them. And just know that it is possible to change negative thoughts and beliefs. Like changing any habit, it just takes time. But it is possible. How do you start replacing them? With self-talk. We all silently talk to ourselves all day long. Whether that sounds strange and embarrassing or not, it's how our minds operate. And basically, if you are stressed and worried, your self-talk is negative. That silent voice inside your head is constantly telling you, you can't do it, you're not capable, you're not deserving, and all that other false stuff. If a person had a friend that treated them this badly, they'd dump them in a minute. But we take it from ourselves because we usually don't even realize it's happening. We just believe all that awful stuff like it's the truth. Would you let someone treat your son or daughter that way? So you've got to start telling yourself new things. You've got to start telling yourself that you can handle this, that you are capable and worthy and deserving, and all that other stuff that might seem corny, but is actually life-changing. When you get stressed, make it a new habit of noticing what you're telling yourself, and then start changing it all around change from being your own worst critic to your biggest supporter. Combine this new habit with another healthy habit of pausing often during the day to clear and refresh your mind and lift your energy. 
Instead of scrolling on social media, for instance, every time you have a free second, keep your phone in your pocket and take a few cleansing breaths instead. You could also just pause at times during the day and look at nature. Even looking out the window at the sky and trees is good. Another thing is to think about what you're grateful for. Or you could shift your mood with a good song on YouTube. There's lots of ways to refresh your mind and body this way. You can pause and engage your senses at times. This is another powerful way to center yourself anytime during the day. When you take a sip of water, for instance, pay attention while you're drinking it. Feel it going down your throat and imagine it reaching all the cells in your body. When you're packing things in boxes for the move to your new home, pause and think about the memories you have with them. Bask in all the memories you've all made in your current home through the years. Also, let yourself daydream about your new life in the home you're moving into. And don't let anyone tell you this is just silly child's play. They couldn't be more wrong. While you're at it, give your furry friends all the attention they need right now and then some. As we mentioned at the beginning of this first video, it was all about you in getting yourself less stressed and more confident about this move to your new home. The next video will be all about your pets. You'll get plenty of tips for keeping them happy right now. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos from us on all things real estate, just hit the subscribe button below and also click the bell icon to be notified every time we put out a new video.